Back in the library. But with Spike. And he's here to help. Apparently. Well, lovely to see you lot again as well. You're on borrowed time, Spike. Alive by our sufferings. Perhaps you ought to skip the pleasantries. Well, yeah, let's, let's get to the point. So much for manners, eh, Giles? Something tells me you've been in America too long. Here's the deal. A big bad old one by the name of Leibach is attempting to build a bridge between his tropical paradise of a demon dimension and our little plane of existence here. He plans to lead an army of demons into this world. Okay, pretty standard here. The master's expertise in opening dimensional portals and the dreamers to alter reality and physically create the bridge to bring Leibach's boys over to our side. And you've been Aaron Boy this whole time. Truth? I'm about as keen on Lieback's little plan as I was on Angelus's plot to let a cattle run amok. The main reason I'm doing this is because Lieback has Drew in some kind of trance. And if I don't help, he'll take her lovely, fragile dove of a mind and put it through a blender. But I don't That's like uh, the nice way to put it, so... Since the Master's been back, things have gone yeah. bad the badder as far as I'm concerned. The Master may be my great-great-grandsire, but the guy's a complete tosser. I don't trust him as far as you could throw him. Of course, it doesn't help matters much now that he gels his hair. If you catch my meaning. So now you want to throw in with us, and I'm just supposed to trust you. You're betraying your allies now. Explain to me again why that should inspire confidence. Best reason in the world, Slayer. Because they're the bad guys. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, remember? Look, I'll lead you to the Master's Lair and lend a hand with the fisticuffs, and in return, you help me rescue Drew. Then we'll be off again, out of your hair. If I agree, you don't touch Angel either. We're going to exercise the master from him. Fine with me. But in that case, the Watcher and Little Willow here are going to have to whip up a special elixir or something witchy for me and Drew. In Casper mode, the master has the power to possess any vampire of his bloodline, which includes the both of us, yeah? Willow and I have just completed a spell of protection for Angel that should work equally well for the two of them. Well, that, that solves that problem. No, it would be no problem. Red's got that mojo working overtime these days. So, it's a deal, then. I haven't forgotten what happened last time I trusted you. Double cross us, and I'll put both you and your psycho flower child girlfriend in an urn. Whatever happened to taking a man at his word? Well, to be honest, Spike, your word isn't worth all that much. Anyway, first things first. Crystals. Did you bring I have crystals. crystals. I was a little busy, but I did bring you a little something. By the strength of the emanation of Godola and the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the vitality held within be now released, transferred to thee. Wow, what a rush. Thanks, Will. Okay, uh, anything else? So, you're set with the spell to get the Master out of Angel. Angel's probably fighting him already, but he's gonna need you to give him an edge. Fine, what do I have to do? Well, okay, it really wouldn't hurt if you maybe kicked his ass a little. You need to weaken the Master's hold on him. <laughs> Just, you know, kick Angel's ass, that'd be fine. I believe we need to augment your combat skills. Please study the techniques illustrated on this page. Joy, more and more complicated ways to monster mash. Let's see, Slayer Sweep Attack. Uh, sometimes the best defense is a devastating low offense. Uh, pull and double t All Right, pull and hold the target trigger, double tap backwards and press the kick button. Right, Okay, fair enough. Hey, what's up, Cordelia? What are you looking at me for? Haven't I done enough for one night? No, I meant that like my ankle. killing I loads of demons and vampires. And I broke a nail. I'm gonna have to sit this one out, and I am all broken up about it too. Now maybe I can go home and meditate on why I wasted my whole night with you people. Good your bitch. You know that old saying, better the devil you know than the devil you don't? What happens when you know them all and way too well? Distasteful as it is to align ourselves with Spike, it does seem to be the sensible course of action. As long as we keep our priorities straight. The most vital element of our attack must be the disruption of Lieback's spell to augment the power of the remaining dreamers. Everything else is secondary. Everything else? Everything. The rescue of Drusilla, even angel safety. Reality as we know it hangs in the balance. Doesn't it always? Okay. What about you, Zender? Like this idea. Doesn't my vote count? 
This isn't a democracy, Xander. It's a slayerarchy. So you're a tyrant now? Yeah. No. I'm the girl saving the world from the forces of darkness, which means if you want to help, you follow the plan. World, no world. Hmm. Seeing the wisdom in the slayerarchy suddenly. Though, still feel the need to object to trusting Spike into saving it, this, uh, That's not for you. Know. Priscilla and I have a bit of history. I hate for her to get the wrong idea or anything. Remember, she was jonesing for me pretty bad there for a while. That's <laughs> because a witch put a love spell on her. So it. So you say, but you didn't see the look in her eyes. I'm thinking it was more than magic that night. And Shut your gut. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Hey, can we just go? I've been ready. Uh, anything else you want to say? Nope. What about you, Spike? I don't understand. I killed one of the dreamers. How's the master going to build this bridge? He and his chum Lieback are planning on creating something called the Deglon Sphere. The way I understand it, it's got something to do with amplifying the powers of the surviving dreamers. Well, we'd already learnt that from watching the master say that. Anything else? You'd better not get in the way, Spike. I lend you my expertise in death and destruction. You lend me a hand and get my Drew back. Simple as that. Okay. There's Willow. And Xander. All right, let's head on. The boundary. 20 to one in the morning. Oh boy. Not starving to death, we should hit a drive through or something later. Them fast food clerks are usually delicious. Oh, they're all greasy. High cholesterol. Take it to gas. Look at the health conscious vampires. Strong suits, is it, Spike? Subtle or not, we're in. Stay close and wait for my signal. Okay, um, well, what you said aside, I'm going in right now anyway. I don't need to wait for no one signal. Nope, nothing in here. Huh. Fancy. Got all these, like, these rooms with nothing to pick up in them. Come on. Let's take out this hellhound. Leave me alone. I'm killing the hellhound. You are so dusty. Hey! Stop it! You can't just charge me and throw me like that. Well, you can. But you shouldn't. There we go. Um I feel like a new slayer. And up. Oh shit, I fell. Huh. That wasn't the plan. The plan was to go up. That's a crystal. A sparkly thingy. To add to my collection of sparkly things. Alright. I have to just go around the long way. Need to get that bridge lowered. Question is, around the other side, unfortunately. Probably some more in here though. Mm, yeah, I'll take the holy water. Ah, yes, there's more, more controls right here. Uh, let's get running before some vamp shows up to turn it off. There we go. 
and use those to close it. Now no one will ever know. Hmm. Uh... Mayor, come out, come out, wherever you are. Don't worry. You stay there, I'll come to you. That's why you didn't come attack me. You were in here. Pay attention, Quasimodo. I'm about to ring your bell. There we go. Nothing like a brisk walk and a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Big guys. There we go, that's... What the fuck? Fuck! There we go, haha! <laughs> Glitches! Power's been shut off to the conveyor belt. Does nobody pay their electric bills in this town? No, I guess not. Uh, this guy might, though. For the vampire who has everything. Hey, I was just wondering. Spikes the big guy. What does that mean? This is my town. All right. Came in through out here. Broke that. Let me to jump across. Totally doesn't sound like a bad idea. Jumping across the rooftops. I mean, this ain't Assassin's Creed. Is that a hellhound? It is. Get up! Ha! <laughs> Fuck you! Yep. This isn't gonna go as well as you thought, Mr. Demon. There we go. I'm actually not sure I can make it up there. <laughs> not anymore, I can't, anyway. Oh, that was pretty cool. That one down. There we go. Just left with the hellhound now. up here and I have to bloody redo this again. Such pain. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna leave it open because, you know, just in case, if I have to do that travel again, which I probably won't. What if I do? A bit of time. Okay, now we can finally get this conveyor belt going. Cool. Just informing you that there's a drop at the end. So I better jump. Okay, right. Done! Let's put them out. Let's go. Yeah! Gonna try and what? Oh, I can't. Lovely. Let's just keep. Hey, no, fuck off. Try and take this big guy out. I don't care how quick you'll drain me. You're not getting it. Hopefully you'll have the common sense to stop. Oh, fucking hell, no. Stop with your martial arts. There we go. Right. Gotta turn this. That's one. Uh, there's obviously another one. Oh, wait, that's blocked. Uh, that's blocked. Wait, if they're blocked, where the fuck am I going? There's all that up there. But how do I get to it? It's probably, like, really fucking obvious, and I'm just missing it. Oh, man. Uh, yep. Same. There's a ladder. I just didn't see it. Alright, here's the other valve. Oh, you have to fall all the way down. Waste my time. There we go. You followed me and you died. Keep killing, just keep killing. There we go. Now, if we just go down, I can continue. This way. Oh shit, wrong button.
Okay, well, you know, I completely failed on saving that guy and all. But I don't really care. Yeah, call me a bad person, but didn't really bother me. Alright, up here. Let's see if there's anything in this room. No, but another door. Quick way to that this side. Maybe my ticket out of here. Sure, a dirty and potentially lethal ticket, but a ticket just the same. Okay, so that's for later. For now, this way. Yep. Throw this lever. And open the hatch. Oh, fuck's sake. I can beat you. Done. And there's probably more. Yep, I was right. Two more. Oh, there was three more. Stab. Alright. So four of them literally came to block me. But I took them all out. Because no one stops Buffy. No one.